Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Miss Brienne, and welcome to another meeting of Coding Craze. And this is the program club where we meet once a month during the school year in order to see demonstrations and hopefully someday hands-on experience with all the various coding toys, robots, games, and computer software that we here have to offer at the West Hampton Free Library as well as within my own personal collection. Now, as you know that last month, I showed you how to program my Ozobot Evo named Jacob to go drive to certain places on a city map. And for this month, we're going to be doing the same thing, city driving, but this time, we're using another one of my robots from my personal collection. And the robot that we are going to be using today is... The Spiro Mini. It's just a little ball-shaped robot. You can see in my hand, just a bit, just nothing but a spear. It is the cutest thing that you'll ever see. All right. And it's going to be a little bit different. Because this is a spear, it's a little bit harder to drive on the map. So what I did was I made a little car costume for him and it's not the best I know it doesn't really look like a car but it's close enough and we're I'm going to show you how to use the Spiro EDU and the Spiro remote control in order to drive our Spiro Mini to certain places on a map and this one's going to be a little bit there's going to be no flashing lights like in Ozobot Evo so you don't have to worry about that all right but with that being said are we ready to begin all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, and, and the Spiro Mini and the Spiro apps that I'm going to be showing you are from the company Spiro. So if you're interested in more of their products, let me just turn down the volume here, please click on the web link in the video description. All right, so like that, with that being said, are we ready to begin? Uh, I am just going to get the wireless on and make sure my Bluetooth is on because we don't need, unlike the Cosmo, we don't need wireless to connect. We just need a Bluetooth connection. So the first thing we are going to do, if I can find it, we are going to find the Spiro EDU app, which is right next to our Cosmo app, and we're going to tap on that. And the screen appears. Now, we got this little intro screen, and what we're going to do is we're going to connect the app to our Spiro Mini. So we're going to tap on this little robot here, and it's looking for robots. Hopefully you can, and it looks like it can detect, so we're going to touch that, and we're going to make sure this connects, and there we go. Once it lights up, that means it's connected. All right, so... What we're going to do is we are going to place our Spiro Mini, actually we're going to place our, the back of our car costume on the road, and we are going to place our Spiro Mini inside. does seem a little bit... There we go. And we are going to calibrate. But first, before we do that, we're going to touch the program. We're going to touch the program app. And we have a variety of different programs that I created. Uh, we're going to go to City Hall first, so we're going to tap on City Hall Drive. And we're going to click View Program. So we have movements, we have light, we have sounds, we have controls, we have operators, we have comparators, and we have all these different programs. We're mostly going to use the movement. We're going to mostly use the movement apps. And usually Spiro Mini moves by rolling. So if it says roll zero degrees, that means Spiro rolls straight upwards. If I say roll 90 degrees, it's going to turn, their Spiro Mini will turn right and then move 90, and then move. 
If I say roll 270 degrees, Spiro will, Mini will turn left and then roll. And if I say roll 180 degrees, Spiro rolls downward. So what I'm having them go straight for a few seconds, turn turn right and move for a few seconds, and then go back straight again. Uh, let's. Let's change the color. Let's fade from... Let's fade from blue to yellow. Yeah, let's do that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to aim. And we're just going to use this little control device to move until the blue light is facing towards the camera. There we go. And just before I start this, I want to let you know that this may not be completely perfect because it is a, a spear and it does tend to veer. But let's begin. There we go. Right on City Hall. So that's our City Hall program. So now we're going to put our Spiro Mini back into position and now I want to show demonstrate how to get to the post office so we're going to find the post office program and again I'm having them roll straight for a little bit of time until we get to the turn then he's going to turn to the left and roll for a few more seconds then turn downward and roll for a few more seconds until he gets to the post office Let's do the lights again. Again, let's fade from like blue to yellow. I'm not sure if you'll see that because of the car, but that's okay. And again, we're going to a calibrate him because we want to make sure it's facing the camera. And then we're going to press the start and see what happens. All right, that was a little bit off. Let's try that again. I'll do this about two or three more, like two or three times to see if I get it right. And if it doesn't work, we'll call it that. All right. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Like I said, because it's a spear, it doesn't really work as well as it, as the Ozobot Evo does, but it serves our purposes. All right, so let's put him back into starting. Now I want him to go to the library. So we're going to find the library program right over here, view, and again, we're going to go straight for a little bit longer until we get to the road, then turn right and roll for another few seconds, and then turn upwards again to go to the library. Now again, we're going to do our little light. Oops. We're going to do our little light movement. Going to fade again from blue. Actually, let's do that darker blue. Back to yellow. We're going to aim. And let's see what happens. That's close enough. But this is fun, right boys and girls? Then finally we're going to program him to get to home. So this is the shortest program of the ball because you're mostly straight until you get to home. So we're going to find the home program. We're going to view. And it's basically rolling until we get to the end of the map and then turning left a little bit and rolling. And again, let's do some lights. I'm gonna do the same. Actually, we'll do per pink to green. Then we're gonna aim. 
and then let's see what happens. It veered off a little bit. Let's try that again. Like I said, it's not perfect. Be it's not perfect because it is a spear. Oh, we're not even going to try that one. Alright, let's try that a couple more times to see if we can get it. This was my hardest one, to tell you the truth. Let's try that now. All right, let's try that one more time. And if it doesn't work, oh well. Like I said, I think it's best to have a maze with like side walls with a Spiro Mini. You know what? That's close enough. But as you can see, if, unless the maze has side walls, it's hard to control your Spiro Mini with a maze like this. All right. So. What I want to do next is use the remote control option to get to places. So we're going to aim. And then we're going to control Spiro to get to certain places. Let's see how this works. First City Hall. All right, let's try that again because, and this is the remote. I push up for up, down for down, turn, turn. So again, I'm going to aim. Close enough. Like I said, this is much better if the maze had side walls, boys and girls. So here's a lesson learned. If you build a maze for a Spiro, make sure it has side walls. Let's see if I can do the post office now. There's the post office. All right, let's aim again. All right, now let's see if we can get him to the library. Move that a little bit. Now let's try that again. All right, let's try that one more time. Good. Oh, let's go back a little bit. Good enough. Then finally, let's pro let's use the remote to take Spiro Mini home.
and that is good enough. All right. So now you've learned how to use the remote and you've learned how to re use the programming blocks in order to, progr to program your Spiro Mini to drive through a city maze. And like I said, this is also a perfect way to use your Spiro Mini. If one, you either make a better car disguise unlike the one I made or use a maze with sidewalls. But anyway, that's how you should learn how to to program your Spiro Mini or use your remote to drive to different parts of a city map. And you can make your city map as big or as small as you want. And you can program your Spiro Mini to go to as many places as you want. Anyway, I hope you had fun with this today. I certainly enjoyed showing you these, this amazing app and this amazing robot. And I'm looking forward to the next meeting. But until then, please check out all the other programs and myself and the other children's librarians here have to offer at the West Hampton Free Library. Looking forward to seeing you again, but until then, this is Miss Brianne saying take good care of yourselves, have a great day, and I'll see you next month.